All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 1978 Toyota Helix. Up front is a 2.2 liter inline four and down below is a five speed manual transmission. We're in a Helix, baby. Now the Helix was sold here in the US for quite some time, but they stopped bringing them here in 1995 and they were replaced by the Tacoma that we've come to know and love. But this is a 1978 and there has been a lot of work done to it and we'll talk about that later on but let's get back to that 20R inline four. Now it's a 2.2 liter although it's named the 20R which is kind of annoying and this was also found in the Celica and the Corona which that name didn't really last. But this is where Toyota started to get their reputation for reliability. The 20R is a very reliable engine and it's a little carbureted inline four at that. It makes a great noise, I love it. This is a second gen Helix and in Japan, they nicknamed the second gen Helix, the Roki, which translates to the Rocket Helix. Yeah! Now for horsepower and torque, the 2.2 liter puts out 95 horsepower and 122 foot-pounds of torque. However, in 1978, that actually went down to horsepower. So if you got a 1977, you got 97 horsepower. But me, I have to deal with only 95. I don't know how I'm managing. Now, like I said, paired to it is a five-speed manual transmission, which was like the top dog option. Getting a five-speed manual in a Helix in 1978 was a big flipping deal. But this is the SR5, so of course it got the best. Last but not least, of course, this is rear wheel drive. This is not a four wheel drive pickup truck. That's quite okay by me. Honestly, it's a fun little toy truck, if that. So let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have two main gauge pods, I guess. On the left is my fuel and temperature, and on the right is my speedometer. I do have a tachometer, but it was added on later, and that's sitting right on top of the steering column. I do have some fun little warning lights like fastened seatbelt, my beams for my brake, things like that. I really, really like that. To the left of me, I have my hazards. They're a pullout, and then I have my lights, which is again a pullout. Very, very 70s, very basic. Now to the far left, I do have a vent. Now this truck originally did come with air conditioning, like I said, SR5 package was kind of the top dog, but these are not for the air conditioning and cooling. This is for the air outside. There are vents on the outside that just bring air in. That's all they do. It's kind of the poor man's AC. To the right of me, I do actually have a radio, which would get AM and FM. Can you believe that? I have a nice SR5 badge. I do have my heating and air conditioning controls, cigarette lighter, and then some added gauges down below. These are not factory but they are useful. The shifter is really tall because it is floor mounted, but it shifts really nice and smooth. It feels like any other great Toyota shifter. And the seats, of course, have been replaced with more modern buckets, but I like them, and they're just at the edge of being comfortable for a big man like me. Now, we don't have back seats, but I will talk about the bed. All right, so this is the back of the Helix, and Nick has done this amazing, nice wood-stained bed. This is the extended bed version. Um, the tailgate actually latches with those two latches. They're not the most reliable, so I won't be opening it, but it does open with a chain, as you can see here, and then there's no real back to the tailgate. By the way, I've been driving this for probably 30 minutes, and I've gotten five thumbs up from other drivers. This thing gets the looks. Now I have to talk about the looks. Nick has done an amazing job modifying this. It's a D-Max hood off of an FC RX-7. The vent that is, that was actually molded into the factory hood for the Helix. I'm gonna shut up now. I'm just gonna get some glamour shots because this thing is a beautiful, beautiful truck and Nick has done an exquisite job on it. Now, this thing 
ridiculously slow. I mean, Nick told me it was going to be slow and I knew it wasn't going to be quick, but oh my sweet baby rays, is this thing slow. However, it's fun to drive. It doesn't rev out, it revs to about 4,500 RPM. The steering is light, but it's not really that confidence inspiring. The shifting is nice and easy, and it just makes the little truck just so fun. It feels like a little puppy just kinda clawing. There's an idea out there about how it's more fun to drive a slow car fast than a fast car slow. And while I mostly agree, I would like to add a third option of the joy of driving a slow car slow because this thing is ridiculously slow, but man, it is so ridiculously fun. I also find it kind of funny that in Japan they called these the rockets. Man, the bar was on the ground for 1978. I think I'm managing okay. There's just something about this little thing. It's so happy, it's so fun, it's so whimsical. And I love carbureted inline fours. When I think of carbureted inline fours, I think of the inside of a wristwatch. It feels like there's a million pieces, each one with a specific job. But every piece of the engine's job is just to make you smile. If you need a pickup truck for hauling heavy things or your boat, to Lake Shelbyville for the summers. Don't get this. But if you want just a fun old little pickup truck that puts a smile on your face, I don't know if there's a better option. At least not from where I'm sitting. It's just, I just got a thumbs up from a biker. Yeah! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Nick for letting me take out his 1978 Toyota Helix. It's just something so unique. I knew I had to get behind the wheel of one, and I'm so glad, I'm so thankful that he has allowed me to do so. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.